<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I would show you a handbag that I bought myself that I just, I couldn't resist. I don't know if you saw my Longchamp La Pia, La Pliage, I never know how to pronounce that video, but um, yeah, I basically have a Longchamp bag from, um, God, about eight, ten years ago now. They did it with Mary Katranzu. I love it, it's super cute. But there was always like this, this bag that I dreamed of owning by Longchamp and it is of course the Jeremy Scott collaboration. I wanted it, I mentioned it in my last video how much I wanted it. I finally, finally thought to myself, oh my god, I'm gonna set an eBay alert and see if anybody sells one. And I was kind of expecting like, you know, to wait a year and then somebody sell a super battered old one and I probably would have bought it. But instead I waited like a month and I got a brand new, never been worn one. And I am thrilled, quite frankly, I am thrilled. So I thought I would do a quick video to show it to you and just, you know, show you the bag that I've been wishing I owned for like literally, 10 years, which is ridiculous. Like, I shouldn't have been <laughs> thinking about this bag for the last 10 years, but I just really loved it. My friend had the trousers in the same print. My other friend had a bag in the red colorway. And I just, I don't know, I've always just thought it was a really cool print and a really cool bag. And I wanted it bad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to you. Da, da, da. Here it is, oh, wait. I feel like the light's doing funny things. Like that's so anticlimactic. The light's doing funny things to the bag. Is it better there? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> but here it is. It is actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move myself slightly. Um, and here is the bag. It is pretty big. It is, here we go. It is the overnight extra large size. It is black with kind of like almost, galaxy and telephone print. Maybe I should angle the light a little bit. Is that better? Does that mean you can see it a bit better? Um, but yeah, it's kind of black base with a galaxy kind of print and just telephones and telephone cords all over. And I just thought it was like such a fun print. This was like Jeremy Scott pre Machino days. And um, yeah, I just, I've always loved this print and I don't know why so yeah, I got lucky. I found it on eBay. I did spend quite a lot on it. I'm not even gonna pretend. I think when it first came out, it was like around 120, maybe 140 pounds. Like it wasn't that much because it's not a leather bag. It's just canvas with, um, you know, a bit of leather trim. And you know, the beauty of the Longchamp bags is that they are really affordable. They're beautifully made, but they are really affordable. But I did actually pay, 300 for this, which is quite a lot. <laughs> like it's more than um, a Le Pliage bag would be now in this size. It's more than it was back then, but I don't know, I just wanted it and it was such a rare find to find somebody selling it, like in literally mint condition. And I just had to snap it up. So I thought I would show it to you. Um, it is of course got the leather trim, it's leather here. It's got the Longchamp horse. It's got the leather strap on the back. It says Longchamp embossed into the leather. It's exactly like the Mary Catranzi one I have, apart from the fact that the Mary Catranzi one is like a shiny coated canvas. And this is more of a matte, which I actually prefer. I think it looks a lot more chic. Um, on the inside, it has a label saying Jeremy Scott Longchamp, um, it's got some branding on the zip pull. And also what's a really nice detail about these is because ooh, they're designed to be an overnight bag. They have a little thingy mobob here, which I think you can put a padlock through the clasp zip pulley thing and also between the little hole in the leather here. So you can put a little padlock on so your belongings are a little bit more safe. Um, but yeah, I love it. I just think it's such a fun and cool bag. It's quite big, so it's more of an overnight style bag or like if we were going on a day trip and wanted to take, I don't know, 
everything we need, like food, <laughs> food, cardigans, coats, extra clothing. I don't know, like a lot. I could just shove it all in here. And I just thought it would be a really handy, I don't know, overnight kind of travel bag. Um, I do feel like I spent a little bit more than I was expecting to on it. I mean, it was 300 pounds and it's like literally, I don't know. I mean, it probably, I mean, she probably doubled her money in 10 years, but that's fine. Um, I'm just really thrilled to have it. So yeah, I thought I would share it with you. Back in the day, this came in pink and it also came in red. It's got total dream phone vibes. I think it's an iconic print, an iconic bag, and I'm so thrilled to own it. I personally think I got a bit of a bargain, even though it was a pretty penny. <laughs> but I'm just, for me, it just is like, what a find, what a gem. I'm so thrilled. I've used it one time already because I went to visit my parents last weekend. Um, but aside from that, I just love, I love it. I love owning it. I'm so thrilled with it. I think it's, it's been on, weirdly, it's been on my bag wish list for literally 10 years. And I can't believe it's finally mine. So I thought I would do a little video to share it with you. So yeah, that is my video. I will link some other Longchamp bags below if you want to have a look. I also wrote a Longchamp Le Pliage bag review on my blog. If you want to read that, if you want to know more about the bag. And um, yeah, I love it. Let me know what you think of it. I'm so happy to finally share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. <laughs>